Hey, it's Wit. Welcome to the channel. Today, another unboxing, uh, though it's not a true unboxing because I've already opened the outer package of this uh, shipment because uh, this watch was just one of uh, many. So that's a hint for you that there are plenty more watches coming in the weeks ahead. Uh, but for now, let's get into this. Uh, another offering from Steel Dive. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Okay. <laughs> There's first look, but uh, I got to say, you know, some people might think this is kind of cheap for this to, you know, a watch to arrive in a plastic bag, but they're so thick. I mean, you, you can hear that. I just kind of love it. It just, the, the feel of, uh, of opening a watch out of this <laughs> cheap plastic, uh, thick bag is kind of nice. Uh, so there you have it. There's your first glance, and we'll take the uh, plastic off. Okay, you ready? Ooh. All right, well, let's start here since uh, this is where we uh, ended up. So that is the military diver logo. The, uh, Steel Dive has about three logos. There's the Green Marine, which is... Um, this one you're more familiar with, and then this is the military diver logo, and then they have another one that is the army engineer uh, diver. So here we see on the case back, it says uh, all stainless steel, automatic movement, NH35 dive, and 200 meter uh, by steel dive. So this is uh, paying homage to the IWC Mark 18 Flieger. This is the Steel Dive SD 1940, and it comes in a uh, 316L stainless steel case. You've got a uh, brushed uh, fixed bezel as well, and uh, sapphire crystal that sticks up just above that bezel. Can you see that just ever so slightly? Just a small ridge there. Nice subtle slope down on the uh, lugs. And then we got Steel Dive uh, logo below the uh, 12 o'clock position and automatic 200 meters above the six. Uh, it is a screw down crown with a uh, signature. And that's funny because that is the Green Marine logo there. As That's actually right side up. So that's the more familiar logo that we know, which doesn't match that one there. So that's kind of weird they did that. Uh, screw down case back as well. And um, let's talk about this strap. Now, it actually looks a little better on camera than it does in person. And you're probably thinking, well, it doesn't look that great on camera either. Um, so the stitching is nice here. But I mean, first reaction is I don't think this is leather. Uh, it's not stamped anywhere on the back there that it is leather. Uh, I just... It's weird. I can't really tell. I mean, it's got a nice, it's really sturdy. It's, I mean, it's actually a little too stiff right now. Uh, nice thickness. I do like that. And like I said, the stitching looks pretty good here on the, uh, on the money shot side, but, um, look at this on the back. See that? And this material here looks to be the same as this here. So, um, I'm not impressed with the strap at all. It does not match uh, the steel dive quality that I'm, you know, familiar with with the SD 1970, and it does not match what I can see the quality of this uh, watch head here on first glance. So, not sure what's going on here. Sliding keeper and um, fixed one near the buckle, and that looks to be decent quality. They did used to uh, offer it on a steel bracelet, which looked like it integrated a little better. But um, that doesn't appear to be available now, so not sure what happened there. Uh, I think the leather or their far inferior rubber strap is the only option available for this watch right now. Well, let's get into the movement. Uh, so screw down crown. Okay, unscrewing that is a little rigid. It's, um, I think, the same problem with the SD1970 that um, it wasn't... Uh, it wasn't oiled or something, and a very familiar feeling here. 
Um, let's see. Let's go. Let's go out. Okay, hacking. You see. Let's go and make sure we're out of the danger zone before we start messing around with a date wheel. Okay. First click. Okay. Quick set date. Operates pretty smooth. We'll go around. And starts to turn. And boom. So just about uh, 11.55 p.m. date switches over to uh, the next day. Leave that there. And screw back in. And same thing. It's just a little rough. So it just needs some oil there. I think that's something that they should uh, address. I mean, just a touch of oil and that will feel so much better and operate so much more smoothly. So um, a little nudge to them there. Let's work on that. All right, let's get some measurements. So diameter is 39 millimeters, lug to lug of 49, 48.5. Thickness is 12 millimeters, lug width is 20. Okay, we'll get you a loom shot here. See if you can get a little, you get a little preview of what's happening here. Oh huh? yeah, those are gonna be torch hands. Very nice. Look at that. So bright. You can see the Steel Dive logo reflecting from uh, the minute hand loom. Let me get uh, see if I can get this light to uh, get us a little darker. The camera's still focusing. Yeah, that's nice. See, that's the loom we've come to expect from Steel Dive, right? Okay, let's try it on. Now, I've got my SD1970 on today, of course, for the occasion, and uh, it makes me look like a little Steel Dive fanboy here, but <laughs> I may be. We'll see. This is the watch that is making me become that, and of course, uh, others as well. So, let's see uh, how uh, this SD1940 looks on wrist as well. Okay, it's very, very stiff. This feels super tight. Um, you know, you can see it's not really conforming to my wrist, so it's going to take some time for this to get broken in uh, to have it nice. I mean, you can see it's it's so stiff, I can barely, barely fold it back to get it in the keeper. Uh, but this is it on the 8-inch wrist, so not bad, huh? It looks much better on, actually, i got to say. Uh, this is not my um, first choice, uh, a pilot's watch, um, but uh, I do like that dial. It's got a sharp look. And those indices, by the way, um, uh, and the um, handset as well, is uh, more of a cream color than bright white. I'm sure you can kind of see that here, but just kind of wanted to clarify. Uh, it is not white. It's got more of a, a yellowish cream color to it against that um, matte black dial. But that's it on my 8-inch wrist. Got a good look to it, huh? So first impressions, really like the case, the dial, the handset this uh, band has got to go. Um, I think if you end up buying this, you'll want to probably just set this aside. Maybe it'll work for you, maybe it won't, but uh, everything else looks great. Got a nice fit, great finish. What do you think? Leave your comments down below and uh, I'd love to talk to you about it. This is the Steel Dive SD1940. You can get it for about $130 to $140 in the States if you want to get it quickly. If you don't mind a long wait, you can get it directly from the Steel Dive uh, manufacturer uh, for about $85 or so. They seem to be blowing these out, so not sure what's going on. So if you want to jump on AliExpress uh, to the Steel Dive site, you can get it uh, that cheap. Give me a like if you like this video, and uh, thanks again for subscribing. Uh, it's because of you I'm able to uh, make the channel grow and bring even more watches to share with you. I'm Wit. Thanks for watching.